following agenda items. Does anyone want to make a comment today for the podium? The rest no. of them are yeah. Well, is anybody else? No, that's not the case. I'm just looking to see if anybody else did. acquisition of the building. Uh, I know that had been discussed at the last meeting and noted in the minutes and I took a look at the, the uh, drafted proposed statute uh, and I'm kind of assuming that that's going to be a dead deal now uh, from the vantage point that I'm sure that uh, everyone reviewed Bobby Jindal's executive orders. I know we made that commitment that we would be doing so as part of the legislative auditor's audit uh, that we responded to and uh, he made it pretty clear in that order that there was not going to be any approved capital expenditures by any executive agency. That order was signed on, uh, looks like March the 23rd. Uh, if there's any question as to whether this board would fall under that purvey, Section 5 makes that fairly clear in stating that all departments, commissions, boards, offices, entities, agencies, and offices of the state of Louisiana are directed to cooperate in the implementation of the provisions of this order. Uh, so uh, I, with that, I would assume that it is dead. Uh, but if not, uh, I would submit to the board that, that <laughs> from everything I've been told, if you go into the legislature with a proposal of this nature, uh, not only will it be dead on arrival, but you will tip off your hand that the board has funds. And given the fiscal constraints that the state faces, uh, any any fund is going to be subject to sweep. Uh, so I have alerted to that executive order if you hadn't already been aware of it. And I have copies of it, three copies that I'll provide for the board. If you'd like. Well, our next meeting date is up. Wait, I have a second part. Oh, uh, 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 board. Okay, sorry, change. I missed it. Uh, Jump to the gun. Number two. Yeah. Staff change. Uh, each, uh, all of you have a copy of the post. Uh, statute. Uh, be aware this is only to want to go. I was asked to prepare this uh, for the board for this meeting. Uh, this is only to go to the legislature and ask them to give the board the power to do so in the future if they so choose. That's a, to buy a lease property or whatever? To, to, to purchase. We already have the right to lease. Well, we don't have, you know, huh? I have to uh, tell y'all Wednesday, you guys, Tim. Uh, Wednesday, two representatives of my law firm are coming up here and, and they're looking at some property because real estate is, is really so economically cheap up here right now that it's time to buy it now. Bob, I have a question. Um, <laughs> on uh, record, regards to what we said earlier about. Um, Obviously, if the governor right now may be restricting this actually happening. But again, uh, two things. One is, this, this doesn't say we have to do it right. or we will do it. If, if the board wants to do the future, you have to have the statute. Right. Secondly, I sort of agree with Mr. Burns to the effect that if you go to the legislature and say, we got money, right, <laughs> they might look at you, you know, and wonder how much and if they can all of it. Um, that has come up before, it's never actually happened. But uh, anytime we go to the legislature, obviously, that's an issue. With any including raising fees or uh, any other activities. So it's up to the board as to what y'all want to do as far as this is concerned. This is my draft. If you approve the draft, we will put it in and see if and the legislature will meet again uh, for something like this until 2013. I would like to make a motion. If, 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 are we going to take it up at this meeting or it's just for consideration? It's either way. It's up to the board. So I'd like to make a motion that, that we adopt this um, particular uh, subsection 
which is LR, uh, LRS 37 colon 3112C with regard to the sale, lease, and um, mortgaging and maintenance of a prospective piece of immovable property for the auctioneer's board. For the second. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> All in favor? Uh, no. Uh, why? Why? We don't need to be in the real estate business. Well, but we don't need to keep paying um, to, uh, for a place to meet. Well, we don't need to uh, try to advert, I mean, to uh, pay insurance, maintenance, anything. We do not need to get the real estate business. How much are we paying now? Okay. What are the expenditures now? Yeah. <laughs> Order, we're going to speak one at a time. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to just continue with the vote because we have a discussion. Well, she had a question. All right. No, you got, uh, she wanted to know what is our expense for this thing. In other words, how much are we paying on an annual basis to be able to be here? Here? Approximately $8,400. And, um, and are we paying anything with regard to an administrative fee for having to come here? Or? This place is completely 100%. You can get a piece, as I, as I pointed right. out to you, that you, you can get a piece of property very cheap now, right. which probably won't be the situation in a year or two. And that was always the long-term goal. Right, you, you could have time. something that no, was a no, resale. Right. Right. We didn't have to worry about leases. Right. And moving from place to place. And you can have a meeting whenever you want, and it's the there, the and it's accessible. Quick well, yes, and I would have addressed it, but I knew I would run out of time. Uh, it is, it, there, the board has absolutely nothing to lose in going to Chuck Mock and asking him to voluntarily release us from that meeting facility room, not the other rooms, just the meeting facility room. That would drop our lease down from 660 a month to 360 a month. All he can do is say no. That's the worst that can possibly happen is he says no. Where do you want to test? That's what I was going to say. I checked into your email, uh -huh. but they're using that room to test our applicants. Well, there's, you, you tell me we have so many applicants that we couldn't put them in one of the other offices? We couldn't put them up in the four-year? We, we, we choke naps. We're choking naps. Well, I think, I, I think $17,000 a year. I mean, $17,000 over five years is a little more than a nap to say we're paying that much to test applicants. We're trying to find a place to move them off so we can get out of here. That's why we're looking oh, no, there are people that don't like okay, here? That's why, not back and forth, please. that's why we started the five minutes this, this in the beginning of the meeting, so we're not going to do the five, back and forth every second. Robert, you may finish your point. No, that's a question. No, that's it. I mean, okay. so so you did look into it, and you well, don't I think just, it's... Wait, wait, because wait. of the room. Well, he... <coughs> he stop, stop. Okay, so anybody else, one at a time, have a comment? I just want to say, I did check into it, but we do use it for the testing of the applicants and stuff like that. So it's not used just for meetings. Now, I'm a little reluctant to buy real estate if this room is free, but how long will it be free? I mean, is it always free? Yes. Maybe they have some old state agents. Yeah. I mean, we just, it's a year before legislators gonna meet anyway, so. So we had a motion going to the revote since it and a second. Uh, yes, Darlene made the motion. Jim seconded with Lamar opposing. There are no. We already voted. Right. Yeah. Uh, one opposition. All in favor? Aye. Uh, no. We're on the record for one day. Ayes have a motion to pass. I believe that's all my report. Okay. So. Who will we go? I'll second that. Okay. Have a first. And a second that we're going to adjourn. Everybody heard me say earlier the next auction date. Next meeting date. Right. And meeting date. Meeting date. Auction date. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> y'all have me right. <laughs> <laughs> the next. September 17th. 17th. Okay, so I have a first and a second to adjourn before the hearing. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, we're adjourned.